Hi and welcome to this video where I want to show you many accessories to make the most out of your MFT style workbench. My name is Dennis and I am from Hooked on Wood. And those who follow my channel know that uh, I have two workbenches in my workshop. One bigger, height adjustable, beautiful beast and one more multifunctional workbench, router table. And this router table workbench is my fourth generation and it's simply a very nice, stable, practical and flexible workbench. But there's much more to it because it's very straightforward to build and because of how I designed it, it's very affordable. This version costs around 500 euros, but you can get it for under 300 with other material choices. And I now have clear plans and a 45 minute step-by-step -step video on my site. So even a beginner with uh, essential tools can make this workbench. Anyway, one thing that makes this workbench so versatile are the dock holes. And then I mean especially the available accessories for a workbench with dock holes. And that is what this uh, video is all about. And it all starts with these so-called uh, dock holes. And I use 20 mm dock holes. And to make these dock holes, I use a UEK pipe guide system. And because I did a specific video about this UEK pipe guide system, I do not want to dig too deep into this system in this video. And although this is an expensive uh, system, a CNC like grid of uh, dock holes stretches the possibilities you can do with uh, these dock holes. But also when it's not 100% accurate, you will still uh, benefit from dock holes in your workbench. And most accessories can be used even when your grid of dock holes is not 100% accurate. And one of the most essential accessories are these uh, bench dogs, which come in different materials, shapes and heights. And the most important thing I can say about them is that they are all good and they all work fine. Although there are minor differences that make one more versatile than the other or that make one more convenient to work with. And they are perfect to align your workpiece or hold them in place. And the bench dogs I use are from uh, UJK or bench up tools. And both offer a wide assortment of high quality accessories to make the best of your MFT style workbench. And I particularly like these stainless steel bench dogs with this small uh, stop collar that fits uh, in a chamfer around the dog hold. And the advantage is that they are small, fit perfectly and are stable and the chamfer around the dog holes makes the holes less fragile. And they come in different sizes and are also available as these expanding dog holes or quad dogs as bench dog tools call them. And the rubber rings expand and lock the bench dog in place by tightening them. And this way you have a perfectly centered bench dog that is also very straight. And I think it's worth considering these expanding dogs or quad dogs when the bench dogs become higher. And you need a chamfer tool for these bench dogs. And I think bench dog tools have the most interesting chamfer tool. It has more grip when you want to add a chamfer with your hands, but you can also use your drilling machine to make these chamfers. And on top of that, there is a magnet at the bottom, so you can also use it to remove magnetic MFT plugs. And these MFT plugs from bench dog tools are no essentials, but come pretty close for me. The more dock holes your workers has, the more versatile it becomes. But you only use a few dock holes simultaneously, so to have the flexibility without worrying that things fall into them is very convenient. And this also keeps the space clean underneath your workbench top because no dust can fall through it either. And the last essential is this so-called ream that restores the accuracy of the bench dock holes. And sometimes a stray wood whisker, a glue drop or a change in humidity can affect the fit. And it is an accessory that has a fixed place in my workbench. One of my favorite products for my workbench are these support rails from Bowie. And unfortunately they cost around 100 euros each, so definitely not cheap. But they are very versatile and I just love them. And with a special clamp you can lock them to your workbench. And by doing this you can extend your workbench to 120 cm wide and give full support to a sheet of plywood. And now you can cut your sheets into more manageable pieces. And I really love the fact that you can extend your workbench, especially when you do not want to have a big workbench full time. 
and because the rails can uh, lock in your workbench, you can make it longer in every direction. And because they lock pretty tight, they can handle all the weight you want. Yes, I still have it in me. Well, sorry for this very short interruption, but my site becomes more and more interesting when you want to learn more about every aspect of your workshop. And here you can find clever ideas and well-designed items. And now I have detailed plans available of the most exciting things I made. So when you are interested, visit www.hookedonwood.online. Thank you for supporting my channel. And on one side, it has an anti-slip cover. And not only does it feel very nice and protect your work pieces, but it is just the best anti-slip cover I have worked with. And that is one of the reasons you want to use it most of the time. It's almost impossible to slide your work piece on the support rails. So just to place that in the right context, I made a small jig to measure the force needed for a work piece starting to slide. And when pushing at an angle of 45 degrees, you need 30 kg of power to move this work piece. Isn't that amazing? So this means that with sanding, everything stays in place. But also when using your jigsaw or router, there's no need to hold the work piece in place with clamps. And this works very conveniently and efficiently. And because of the soft material, you can use your plunge rod directly on the support rails without damaging the workers. And when there's too many cuts in the rails, you can easily replace the anti slip cover. So when you work with a rail square and a plunge saw, this combination is simply incredible. But I found it also a great help by clamping. I can rest the wood on these wheels and slide the clamps underneath them. But I even more like that the rails can handle a rail guide clamp. So I made some crossbars and now they help me to create a flat surface while gluing. The way you want to use it that way, it's best to add some wax first, so you can remove the glue afterwards easily. But I'm pretty convinced you will find more use of these rails because the fact that they are more extended and straight, you can lock them to your workbench and you can add uh, some rail guide clamp to it, making them very versatile. And this product become an absolute favorite accessory in my workshop. From UJK are these small support dogs. They are small, look nice and are of good quality. They are height adjustable and have an anti-slip cover and you can place them in the dog holes. And because they fit in the dog holes, the sliding resistance is much higher than compared to a bench cooking. And this makes a lot of work more convenient when you compare that to a bench or cookies because you do not need to hold your work piece in place all the time. On the downside, they are less flexible about where to place them. And sometimes it's just an advantage when you slide your work piece aside and the bench or cookies slide much more easier over a smooth surface. But I still like to use them and because of that, they have a fixed place in my workbench. An MFT style workbench great benefit is placing different clamps in many places. You can uh, use rail guide clamps when your workbench top is less than 22 mm. And I always use these alternative Bessie clamps. They are from FICO, very affordable and easy to use and the clamping pressure is perfect to control. And I use two sheets of material for my workbench top so I need other hold down clamps. And my go-to clamps are these and they are very straightforward and fast to use. And when you have a thicker workbench top, they create a very high clamping force. And they now also offer a high version, which works as straightforward as the smaller ones, but has a reach of approximately 50 centimeters. But they can create the same clamping pressure as the smaller ones, and 70 kg is relatively easy possible. But I would not stress it that much. A hold down force of 30 kg is more than enough. They are made from aluminum, and when you use them, there will be some tear on the mechanism. But I have had them for two years now, and they still work perfectly. It's still a no-brainer for the price, and they have a permanent place in my workbench. 
horizontal clamps are very convenient to hold your work pieces in place. And one disadvantage of most of these horizontal clamps is that you have to screw them in place from the underside of your table. And without locking them in place, almost all horizontal clamps tend to lift the work piece. And UEK came up with a completely different approach. And I got this complete kit with four clamps and everything needed to clamp every work piece in place. And this kit is definitely not cheap. But it's also pretty complete with four clamps and uh, bench dogs. And things become more attractive when you already have some uh, UUK bench dogs and only need two clamps. Let us first focus on the positive things. You can firmly clamp a workpiece and most importantly your workpiece will stay perfectly flat and you do not need to screw them in place first. So this may be a product to consider when that is what you have been looking for for all these years. But for me they also had a few downsides. Finding the right way to clamp a work piece is a bit of a puzzle and this goes faster after some experience but it's certainly not convenient. And these clamps are pretty big and with uh, smaller work pieces you can only use one. And when you need one it can be unstable. Although the clamp is relatively low, when you need the bars, the height is about 19.5 mm. It could be better when you regularly work with 15 or 18 mm material. So in the end, I cannot say that these are my favorite clamps. That does not count for these horizontal uh, Bessie clamps. These are the best horizontal clamps I have used so far. And although they come delivered with four nuts to fasten it from the underside to your workbench, they work perfectly without it. They have a smart design stop uh, plug that prevents it from lifting. The clamp is very flat at the underside and the bench dock sits perfectly. And as a result it's so stable and will not raise your workpiece. And besides that, with 15 mm they are relatively low and nothing will be in your way when you use it with uh, material of uh, 80 mm thickness. The clamping force is very high. When you place the clamps against the workpiece, it creates a clamping pressure of 70 kg, which is insane. And for average use, too much, in my opinion. So holding it 5 mm away from the workpiece before clamping creates around 30 kg of pressure, which is perfect. And the price of these uh, clamps at around 65 euros for a set is very reasonable when you consider that this is one of the best and most practical horizontal clamp you can get. Well, this is the end of the first episode. I hope you liked it and found it interesting. Let me know in the comments. And I will upload the second part as soon as possible. And if you do not want to miss that, subscribe to my channel. In the next part, I will show you accessories that turn your workbench into an accurate table saw. And some other exciting accessories. So thank you for watching. I see you next week. Until then. Have a good time.